Hello everyone, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, and this is Power Talkie. Power Talkie, you may think, well, it's something to do with power in a walkie-talkie, right? No, a little bit different. This is a really interesting concept, and this is not one of the very first. There's a bunch of concepts like this, but this one was sent to me from Power Talkie. They said, let us know what you think about this. This started with a campaign on Indiegogo, and it produced quite a following. And I wanted to show this to you because... You know, we always tell everybody, you know, that people are watching. What happens when everything goes down? And it has happened multiple times in hurricanes when I live in Florida. And I always say we rely on ham radios, right? When all else fails, ham radio is there. Let's say you're not a ham radio operator. Let's say you want a different method. Let's say you're one of those preppers, you know, those survivalists, and you have all these YouTube channels, and you want to be an off-grid, you know, disaster unfolding, zombies are coming, and you want a way to communicate with a loved one or your friends or your party or your hiking or, or wherever you are and you want communication when everything is down. And you want to be able to talk or text or use mapping on your cell phone. When cell phone is down, Power Talk, you will enable that. And we're going to talk about what this is, give you the, the concept behind this, this Power Talkie. And it's really a, a neat idea. So let's get into it. Okay, so power talkie comes in a nice case like this, right? And how would you connect two cell phones like this together with no internet? How would you text or talk to somebody on voice from this phone to this phone with no Wi-Fi, no internet, no ham radio involved? Something like power talkie. So let's get into this. I'm going to open this up and show you. Now, I have not used this yet. I did open it, read the manual and stuff like that. But I did not use this yet. And what I really need to do is make a follow-up video on this with a friend that lives about a mile and a half away to give you an idea on how this works. Or I may do it with the wife outside. But in this, <clears throat> these look like walkie-talkies, but they're not. These are actually your transmitters, okay? Let me talk about these for a second. So these have a 6,000 milliamp hour lithium battery in them. And they don't, you don't use this with a button and talk into it, okay? Th these are your two transmitters. And what happens is these two link together via RF, okay? They have a, on UHF, two watt maximum. Think about this. If you're familiar with this idea with other ones like Beartooth or Gotenna, these are two watts, okay? And they come with an antenna. So when you put the antenna on like this, you would assume it looks like a walkie-talkie. Is this a kiddie walkie-talkie? No, you're not talking into this. What this does is this takes, okay, so you're, you, there's an app that we're going to download and show you. And the, uh, I don't know what I did with it. The instructions are somewhere right here. There it is, right in front of me. There's an app. You can download the app for iOS or Android. It's free. There's no monthly charge. There's no service agreements. There's no nothing. You download the app and basically your phone will connect to this via Bluetooth. Okay, now from here to here, we're connecting on UHF. Now from this one to my other phone is Bluetooth. So basically, this is the medium between my two phones. As long as I'm in RF communication range between this unit and this unit, I can communicate both phones. Now here's, here's another thing. This is essentially mesh networking. So if I had more of these, if I had three, four, five, or let's say everyone in the United States had one of these and they were all in range, you could actually send a message from this phone to this phone utilizing multiple hops through different power talkies to get to the end destination, okay? For now, we have two of these because that's what they sent me. So I'm gonna try to make this happen with two of these and show you how it is. Um, no Wi-Fi, no cell service involved. SMA male antenna connect, well, it's, if you call it a SMA female, it's got the pin in there, but SMA on the top. And I actually have a video coming up of an antenna that I watched on Josh's channel that I'm going to use on this because essentially, like radio, the better the antenna, the more range, right? I want more range on this. So it does come with the two uh, SMA UHF antennas, which will be suitable line of sight, probably a kilometer or two. Okay, they say up to two mile or 20 mile range. I think that would be absolute line of sight, mountaintop to mountaintop, you would maybe get 
20 miles of range, okay? Unobstructed line of sight. We're talking real life scenario here. So maybe a mile or two um, at most because it's not, it's just a digital signal going from one to the other. So uh, I'm planning on holding on to these for hurricane season. So usually when a hurricane comes, I give one to Chris, uh, one of my handhelds. I give him a cheap, you know, Bofung or something. And we go to a FRS frequency. And we talk on FRS when last time, and if you haven't seen my hurricane video, check that out. Uh, cell phone towers were down. There was no power. We were running on generator. The only thing left was radio. But for someone who doesn't have radio, this is another option. And what better than to talk is you could actually get on the app and text message, send emojis, and even, um, audio, you know, 15 second audio clips that would come through the phone like a regular uh, Facebook message call or whatever. And if you're hiking or you're locating, you can load the app and send pinpoint, you know, uh, I'm here, you send it, it shows, you know, it sends him on a map where you are and uh, really interesting stuff. So the manual I'm going to kind of decode for you in this video because it's a little vague. I mean, it gets the point across. This is an antenna. This is the power talkie, the batteries inside. You're going to use Ow, and that's hard under there. I tried opening that earlier and almost busted my fingernail off. These are submersible. These are completely 100% submersible. So, so much so that I have to pry this thing off the bottom with a screwdriver because it's really that watertight. Um, so anyways, on the bottom you have a micro USB for charging the unit and a regular USB to charge your phone. So that's even better. You're, you say, well, I'm out in the field and I need an extended runtime. What happens if I'm using these but my phone goes dead? Not a problem because it comes with up here two USB cables, okay, but they are the micro USB. But check it out. You can charge the unit with the micro USB, then you can flip this thing around and use it as a cable for your Android. You need to get an iPhone cable if you want to keep your iPhone charged off here. So it's a UHF transmitter, two watts, connects to your phone Bluetooth, comes with an antenna, built-in battery bank, 6,000 milliamp battery in here, and uh, uh, completely submersible so we're gonna we're gonna check this out this is a, a neat idea I mean I, I, I think it'd be really neat if everybody had one you know if everybody in your area had one and you can link up all these power talkies that'd be cool there's also an SOS button on the side if you're really you know in danger you hold that and it's gonna send an SOS and I guess it's gonna hit all the power talkies or whatever's in range and show up on their phone on the app and say hey Eric's in trouble you know get off your butt and go help him and that kind of thing there are, believe it or not, it's hard for me to make a video talking about hiking and wilderness and outdoors and survival and prepper because I don't normally do that. But there are plenty of YouTube channels out there where people are out in the middle of the wilderness and they are trying to communicate on radio or they're hiking or they're buried in the snow making YouTube videos for you to watch, much like you're watching here. But people actually have a use for this, just not me because I'm cooped up in my room here. I work all day and I live in a city. So, I mean, there's no mountains for me in Florida, but there is an, a, a, there is a use for this. So I kind of really embrace this idea. Um, and power talk, you said, let us know what you think about it. So, so far the construction of this, I love it. This thing is absolutely solid. I mean, it is, if, if I really wanted to put a scratch on this, I'll throw it on the ground, but I mean, it's, it's solid, man. I mean, just don't break the antenna off. So I have the app running on both of them and you can register. I, I, I advise registering, just put your email and password in because then you can save your, your picture, you know, your account picture, you know, you, so you can see you on a map uh, and, and customize your name. You're not just a generic number on there or you don't have to register. You can log in as a guest, but you can't have a friends list and all that. Anyways, I'll show you an example here of the app. So I have no chats here yet, but we'll go to, um, <clears throat> I saved, I uh, signed one as Michelle. Uh, because she's going to test it with me and I put my little picture up here and you, you know you can go into uh, you know account device status and stuff like that you can click on the name here and it'll give you you know name address, uh, email address and stuff like that we'll go to my QR code now you could take the other app and you can scan this hey let's be friends on the power talkie app you scan the QR code and there you are or there's your number right there the 0009380 that's this device's or this account holder's number. So then I can go to my other unit or my other app here and I could search for that user ID, okay? So I can go add friend and I can go 00009380 and I can send a request, okay? Now you'll see it popped up on this one and it says,
wants to add you as a friend. Uh, yes, we are friends, okay? I am friends, we are friends. Now, what I can do is go like this. Go into contacts. There's my friend right here, okay? And you can now name them, you know, uh, Michelle or whoever. That way you have it in there as a name. So we're going to turn off cellular communications like this. We're going to turn on, uh, well, I can't turn airplane mode off because I won't have anything. So we'll turn Wi-Fi off, and I will turn cellular off. I have no connection right now on this phone. I'll do the same to the other one, and I'll give it to her. All right, so watch this. Ready? I'm going to send. We were just playing with it. I'm going to send her a message. Watch. Hello, sweetheart. Now, this is completely over RF. No Wi-Fi, no cellular. Let's see if she responds back. Oh, there she is. Wow. Okay, now watch this. Ready? I'm going to go here to voice. Watch. Press to talk. Hey, babe, just checking out the uh, Power Talkie. How does it sound? Now, see, and here's the little, look. All right, let's see if she sends one back. I'll be curious to know if she can figure this out. This is, again, operating over RF, no Wi-Fi, um, no cellular data, anything, just RF. And I want to make a follow-up video on this and see how effective this would be at, like, a mile. That sounds great, babe. Awesome. Huh? Look at that. Where is her message at? That was mine. Let's see. Oh, I lost it. There we go. Yeah, I don't know where her message went. Hey, babe, just check it out. That was me. Okay. So I send an emoji. Watch. Oh, there she is. Here. It sounds great, honey. Can you hear? Yep. Yep, I can hear it. Just uh, getting familiar with this thing. Uh, everybody on YouTube, thanks you for the test, babe. I'm sure they're all saying, go, Michelle. <laughs> she is anti-technology, man, I tell you what. But it's pretty neat. So uh, you get the idea of it. You know, just put yourself in the middle of uh, Montana where there is nothing or out on a boat in the water. I mean, if you don't have cell phone service or you want to really do this without cell phone service at all, or maybe you don't have cell phone service, but you want to stay in communication with somebody else, um, this is the way to do it. Let me see if I send her a little emoji. Oh, we're receiving her uh, now. This is, and it may be a little bit slower than cellular data, but that's because it's coming over UHF. You know, let's see. Ten four. She did not just say ten four two Lou. Anyway, <laughs> I'll send her emoji. So you can see she doesn't have um, the little icon set up here for her face, you know, or whatever. So okay, let's do it this way now. Uh, if you click on the plus. Now we can send location. Now it's going to pull up a map here, okay? And we'll hit send. Now that sent location share, and that sent it to, uh, and they spelled location wrong, but that sent it to location uh, to her, and she can click on it and see on a map where I am. It should put both of our dots right next to each other because we're in the same area. You could also, if we go, uh, yeah, right here, map, see? We could also go to contacts, and now we can do group chat, right? And then we can add another person. So if we had more people, I can add them and have a huge group chat on here. So the moral of the story is this. I think it's a pretty unique idea. I think it's pretty neat. Um, I think it's a, a pretty neat idea to have this power talkie. Uh, I have an aftermarket long-range high gain, super long antenna. Imagine both of those antennas on these things. You might get five or six miles in a city uh, at two watts UHF. So we're gonna check this out a little more and uh, leave your comments below and tell me what you think about the power talkie. Um, it is, I, I can't say that I can argue the fact that this isn't useful. This can be very useful. Am I in a wilderness or a non-cellular or Wi-Fi area right now? No but it's definitely a very unique feature to have one. And there are other ones out there, but from my understanding, the other ones don't have battery bank built in. Uh, they may not be waterproof. They don't have um, 
voice or apps. It's basically just, um, you know, you see where other people are, uh, from my understanding, or maybe I'm wrong. But the power talkie is a really ingenious idea. I like the little case that comes in, and um, maybe I'll, you know, if, <laughs> if there were a bunch of people in my area that had this, and we can go to a further test and test it, you know, meshing through five or six or seven of these and seeing how far across Vero Beach we can go with these, that'd be a different story. But for now, from here to the laundry room, I talk to my wife with no cell phone and no wireless or Wi-Fi, any kind of data other than RF. When it all fails, radio is there. 7-3, everyone. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description. KJ4YZI.